So, okay, so this question, it's a multi-part question. Um, I guess I'll just uh, start with the A and go. On. It says, uh, what is the fluid speed in a fire hose with some diameter carrying some volume of water per second? So we have a flow rate given. Uh, I think this is something that I mentioned when we were doing, um, when we are working with the fluid in motion and um, working on what, what we call continuity equation. So the continuity equation that you all have seen is this, A1V1 is equal to A2V2. Um, and so this is what sometimes called continuity equation and it always uh, there are different continuity equations in physics uh, they always refer to some kind of uh, conservation law here the conservation law would be conservation of volume when you have incompressible fluid so um now what this is you don't actually need this for calculating uh, the answer here but what it's getting at is this is the expression for flow rate um, it's, you can kind of look at it from the units here so uh, when you have this uh, cross-sectional area times the the fluid speed then what you have is okay some kind of meter squared times some kind of speed um meter per second then um just combining units what i have is cubic meter per second so what this is telling you is amount of uh number of volume amount of volume per time and that's what a uh, flow rate is and that is the flow rate that's given here so um so from all this, the equation that you can start out with is the flow rate of, I guess they use Q. Uh, flow rate is given by um, the cross-sectional area times the, the, the fluid speed. Now here, um, hmm, wait, A and B are, he's asking what is the flow rate in cubic meters per second. Let me answer that first, because um, as I'm trying to do this calculation, I'm going to have to convert to basic SI units. So I think if we have flow rate in basic SI units, it'll be helpful. So let me do that first. I, I don't know why the A and B are not reversed in the order of their asking. So the flow rate that they're giving you is, um, so this Q, if you were to do the calculation, it will be equal to 76 liters per second. Now the problem is liter is not a unit, basic SI unit of volume. Um, this is where knowing some conversion factors are useful, like the fact that one milliliter is a cubic centimeter, so a, and a thousand milliliter is a liter, and finally, um, a million cubic centimeter is one cubic meter. So you combine all these, you get that uh, one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liter. It's quite large bit of volume. Um, I think in the lecture I have a, a visual illustration of how big a cubic meter is. So to convert from liters per second to cubic meter per second, what you have to do is you have to multiply by number one, constructed in a way designed to cancel out liter and give me cubic meter. So I need a liter on the bottom, cubic meter on the numerator, and the way this can be one is if the quantity in the numerator and denominator are the same. So I can say one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liters. So I'm going to take 76 divided by a thousand. Oh, I can do that in my head. It will give me 0 0.076. Let me just verify that's correct. Should be, but just double check to make sure. Now, weird. Um, okay. Now that we have that, the rest is, um, rest is using this uh, expression that I was talking about before. Flow rate is given by cross-sectional area times the fluid speed. So you are, they are asking for fluid speed. So let me solve this for fluid speed, which is uh, 
flow rate divided by cross-sectional area. Um, so it'll be the flow rate divided by, uh, we are given the diameter, so cross-sectional area of this circular area will be pi times d over 2 squared. And when I plug in d, I will convert the centimeters to meters. Uh, now, this number has to be done in a calculator. I can't do that in my head. So let me just do this in a calculator. Um, flow rate, 0 0.076 divided by uh, pi times the um, 0 0.115 meter divided by 2 squared. Um, this might, yeah, it gives me an answer in terms of pi, so let me just put it through a decimal thingy so that it gives me a decimal approximation. So one of the annoying things about computer algebra system that they tend to assume things are much more general than we are treating it as. Okay, 7.32 meter per second. I don't really have a good sense of feeling for whether that's a fast fluid speed or slow fluid speed, but that's the numerical answer we get. I guess it's uh, faster than someone who's uh, walking, but not faster than someone who's running. Um, again, I don't really have a good sense of whether that's a large or not. Okay, would your answers be different if uh, salt water replaced the fresh water in the fire hose? Um, oh, yeah, so this is where it's uh, um, useful that I characterized continuity equation as um, something that expresses conservation of volume. So uh, the difference between salt and fresh water is whether it's uh, um, the mass. Salt water is more dense. It has more mass in it. So if uh, at any point, if we are characterizing some of these things with the mass, then something might change. But as you can see in all these expressions, never once do I bring up mass. So if you're using salt water, uh, nothing really changes. I mean, wait. Oh. <laughs> nothing really changes. So no. Um, I mean, you know, practically maybe there's a different viscosity and whatnot, but um, in terms of the numerical answers that we are looking for here, no difference. It's a lot of number calculation. Uh, let me do it this way. I think if I just, uh, so this is not really a proper way of doing it, but if I just uh, write down equations without explaining it, I can do it a lot more quickly than if I'm explaining it. So let me do it that way. So reading this question, the way I would do it is, okay, here is a volume equal to that of a house interior. Okay, that's giving me a flow rate. Flow rate of um, that volume, 15 meter times 19 meter times 2.5 meter per 15 minutes. Um, and I'll do unit conversion later. Um, and this flow rate must be the cross-sectional area times the volume of uh, the fluid velocity. So uh, this is pi times uh, 0 0.29 um, per 2 squared. Um, yeah. So OK, I think I have enough here. So for V1, I can do it this way. Um, I can say, don't the algebra in my head. <laughs> so V1 <laughs> is going to be this, uh, 15 meter times 19 meter times 2.5 meter divided by um, 15 minutes, um, which is uh, uh, in terms of seconds, you multiply by 60 to get the number in seconds. So that's the left-hand side. You need to divide the whole thing by pi times 0, 0 0.29 per 2 squared um, to, to divide it by the a cross-sectional area, and that should have given me V1, 11.99, or 12.0. And, you know, the thing that, sorry, this uh, may be helpful, may not be helpful, um, but um, I think uh, I explained much of uh, the considerations you need to hear back when I was doing question, um, 
question seven. So um, you can take a look at that if you need more, if you want more explanation. So.